स्टैंडर्ड नाइन्थ सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश चैप्टर अ प्ले पार्ट वन वेलकम चिल्ड्रेन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रीड प्ले विच इज वेरी फनी लेट स्टार्ट बी अलर्ट द किंग इज अबाउट टू अराइव हु वॉन्ट्स टू बी अलर्ट लाइफ सेम्स लाइक वन लॉन्ग स्लीप इन दिस लैंड आई एम एट ईज ऑल डे दो आई एम अ गार्ड How boring! I wonder if some interesting drama will unfold at the court today. It would enliven the atmosphere. I would be equally happy if there was none. Halt! You are a stranger. Give your identity. You are right. I am a visitor here, a disciple of the wise sage from the Gangor forest, which lies to the east of your kingdom. What brings you here? I have heard amazing stories about this kingdom of Andher Nagri and the great king Chopat. I'm especially impressed by the fact that everything in the market is sold at the same price. No complications. You have heard right. In our land, you can buy the most rich and delectable sweets for the same price as an equal measure of vegetables. टका सेर भाजी टका सेर खाजा आई एम क्वाइट हैप्पी अबाउट इट इट मेक्स लाइफ इजी सो इट शुड इट वुड बी अ गुड आइडिया टू सेटल इन दिस लैंड बट फर्स्ट आई वुड लाइक टू अटेंड द कोर्ट टूडे एंड पे माई रिस्पेक्ट्स टू द माइटी किंग चौपट यू मे स्टैंड देयर विद दो पीपल हु आर इन अ क्यू लेट द कोर्ट बिगिन द फर्स्ट कंप्लेनेंट justice oh most great king i beg for justice and what is your complaint in this great land of andher nagri my friend and i have been truly hard working honest thieves all these years we have been true to our profession and what is our reward last night with great efforts we made a hole in the wall of a merchant's house when all his family were away My friend peered through that the hole into the house when suddenly the wall collapsed and and my friend was instantly killed I have lost my only friend and partner O oh, king it's the merchant's fault for living in a house with such weak walls fetch the merchant at once a life for life the merchant must be hanged mercy O oh, noble king I had no intention of killing these skilled professionals. It is not my fault that the wall of my house collapsed. My house has been recently built. It is the fault of the bricklayer who carelessly built such a weak wall. Bring the careless bricklayer immediately. He must hang for his fault. O oh, most kind lord and king, I beg you, don't send me to the gallows. I agree that I built the wall which collapsed and killed a man but it was not due to my carelessness the mortar which I used to lay the bricks was of very poor quality there was too much of water mixed in it it is entirely the mortar maker's fault summon the mortar maker at once he must pay with his life for his thoughtlessness forgive me Oh merciful king please do not hang me to death i have a wife and two young children who will look after them your carelessness has cost a life you must pay with your life no 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 my royal lord i am not to blame the pot which i used to pour water into the mortar had an extraordinarily large mouth so excess water poured down into the mortar mixture i was helpless it is the potter's fault for making such a useless pot let the potter be brought here at once he must be executed for molding such useless pots your majesty show mercy to this humble potter i agree the pot i made and sold to the mortar maker was a defective one but i am not guilty as i was molding that pot i heard the sweet delicate tinkling of anklets it was the money lender's daughter she distracted me just as i was shaping the mouth and it became too wide 
bring the money lender's daughter here this very instant she must be sent to the gallows for disturbing this poor potter at work oh just king spare my daughter she is my only child and to be wedded next monday oh do not fret father the king will not hang me your most esteemed highness i rarely step outside the threshold of my home but as my father said i am to be married next week and my jewelry is not ready i had to go to the goldsmith shop to urge him to work faster and hand over my ornaments on time the potter's shop is on the way i could not help it it is all the goldsmith's fault had he delivered my ornaments on time i would not have been forced to go past the potter's shop then send for the goldsmith and without any delay he must be hanged